And we are recording. And we are live on the first Grim Dark Garage live stream, if you will. That's <laughs> it. As close as we're going to get, I think. <laughs> Considering we don't have the, uh, the technical nows to actually ever do a proper live stream. Welcome to the Grim Dark Garage. Hey. We, um, we're doing something a bit different today, aren't we, Miguel? Yeah, um, we, we can't really film because the old uh, track and trace app caught up with us, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> COVID, COVID claimed the Grim Dark Garage this week. Yeah. So, so uh, um, yeah, we're, we're, 10 we're... days, uh, 10 day holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad, I suppose. But we are um, we're coming together live. We're obviously missing Dave, so um, much love to Dave. He couldn't be here today, yeah. but we are going to be reacting to the latest ga uh, Games Workshop preview, Octarius Mission Briefing. I'll share it obviously in a second. So basically, the way this whole session is going to work is I'll stick it up in a minute. We'll let the fun stuff play, and then we can chat through what we think looks good and what looks shit. And I guarantee it's all going to look good. It's Orcs, man. It's going to look amazing. It's going to be so freaking cool. Can we play the trailer again? Is there a way uh, to play the trailer? I can play the trailer of Kill Team, I think. Yeah, the one that came out the other day. That was quite Do amazing. that. So talk amongst yourselves while I get sorted, because uh, if you guys aren't, aren't... I'm acting like this is a fucking live stream. This isn't a live stream. <laughs> there is no questions to handle. But um, talk amongst yourselves while I get something prepared. So today was a big day. It's um, the preview of Warzone Caradon, Book of Fire. It's it uh, coming out today. It's looking like Bellacorn is, is pretty much exactly as we expected. Oh, Bellacorn looks big, amazing. Big, big, um, the minus one to hit, I think, is really interesting. Not re-rolling against him to hit. Minus one to wound. I've seen some early goon hammer reviews. haven't seen it on the table yet, but I think people are underestimating it. I think it could be could be difficult to take down absolutely i think so yeah so aping off what the goom hammer review said it looked like he was going to be quite inter an interesting element into an existing demons list i.e a slanesh list where you can advance and charge but man i'm i'm psyched for the, the you know the disciples of bellicor list the yeah. the shadowy antics that they can get up to the minus one to hit from far the no re-rolls against them that's so freaking cool We've got a good mix of demon stuff. We can definitely have some fun with that, I think. Yeah, we've got tons of stuff, haven't we? We're really missing the, the zinch element. We need some pink yeah, horrors. We don't have any zinch. No, we've got all the corn in the world, all the plague bearers, all the slanesh. I mean, me and Dave have both got way too much slanesh. <laughs> that never uh, gets tested. <laughs> basically, when Caradon goes on pre-order today, I'm going to put, I'm buying it. And then when we get the book next week, should we say the next game we can actually play? I'll bring the demons. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good sounds to good. me. Yeah. Um, cool. Right. Let me share my screen and we'll see if we can get a kill zone. So this is the new trailer for kill zone. It looks freaking awesome. Is this the right one? This is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I just can't. Imagine actual plastic death corps of creeds. Like, I love it. I'm fucking like, buzzing for it. Blow people's minds. <laughs> it's well brutal, isn't it? <laughs> it is. The Burner Boy at the end is terrific. Oh, there's no one in back in this whatsoever. Oh, the cinematics are so good. Mm. Tony, I don't feel like the orcs look like the new style of orcs. You know what I mean? People are saying, like, oh, they've changed the orc boys too much. It kind of looks like a, like a classic orc to me. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, I definitely don't feel like the, any of the beast snagger influence has come through in this. That's, yeah, that's so... It, I mean, that stands to reason. We know that there's new orc boys coming, and they don't have that beast snagger look. Although, here you go, here's your beast snagger. The little squig bomber. <laughs> and orc commandos. Yeah. Oh. They're an important unit right now. Yeah. Playing orcs. To be playing any army, you need that cheap little unit. Especially something that just deep strikes natively at the moment is cheap. It's just like an absolute winner. I mean, I, can they do it at the moment? I fully expect orc commandos to be able to be picked up off the board and replaced somewhere else. Mm. That's uh, that's some gameplay element that every army needs at the moment. That is fucking brutal, man. The guy just <laughs> melting. <laughs> Well, recently people were saying that like GW's gone a bit too family friendly, like a bit <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone would say everyone seems to think that the orcs are the comedy the comedy side of 40k, and <laughs> yeah. I guess they are, but fucking hell, that wasn't. 
<laughs> that was pretty brutal. There was no light relief in there, was there? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Jesus. So we have got uh, probably about seven or eight minutes till the till the live stream starts. Tell me what you expect and what you want to see. So the big thing they're saying is Kill Team 2.0, isn't it? Is uh, the reboot. Which um, I, did you ever play Kill Team? I played a couple games right when it first came out, and to be fair, it kind of like it launched in a really weird way. It launched with like the, like the skeleton rules, and then like every couple months, more yeah. rules were added to the game. So I kind of jumped in right at the very beginning, had a couple games. And I was just bored. I was yeah. just bored. It was just like I shoot my bolter at you, you shoot your one bolter at me. I throw my one crack grenade, and that's the game over. I just didn't have that. <laughs> Some people have really got into it. I, I just couldn't find that cinematic element in it for me. But I think you've got... Hey, <laughs> it's a preview day. I've got to have a few drinks with it. Yeah, yeah. As it went on, they released... Like, I never even played like, the Commanders bit and they added like more elites and more like specialisms and things like that. So I think it grew, but I don't know. That, that first couple of plays for me really lost my interest, to be honest. Was it similar to what they did with um, Warcry? Because that was... Its own band, wasn't it? And then they started introducing the other armies into it. I think it added a lot of flavour and a lot of like fun. Yeah, I think it was very similar. Very similar. It's definitely the, the war cry of uh, 40k. It's a shame because I remember when those boxes came out, one of the best things it had was like the idea of, of a sort of a, a 40k in a, in a sort of really small, I don't know, would you call it a skirmish game? But a really yeah. small pared down version sounds it sounds awesome and it's a way to invest in your guys level your guys sort of grow attached to your guys um you never really do that in 40k i couldn't tell you i've never named the character never named the model <laughs> <No>. <laughs> they're all fodder for me <laughs> <laughs> but it, I, I like the idea of it but um maybe we'll get a bit more like say today and and looks like they're releasing it with a, a death corpse of creed plastic army which is insane what is a plastic kit a classic kit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah something like I get too yeah. hyped. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> does a plastic kit mean a plastic army comes along eventually? Uh, or? I don't know. Like they, they, they redid, I'm going to say big air quotes here, redid the Imperial Guard the other week, didn't they? Just by just releasing a new sprue with some head options. So uh, I don't know if um, <laughs> as a, we as always a, get quite as much as we would like. As a, as a new convert to the Imperial Guard, i.e. I bought a Bane Blade because I thought they looked cool, I, uh, I very much want, to, I want more and more plastic to inject right into my veins. Um, and, I'm, I, you know, it was a really cool, it was a cool move because it was, um, it was like a diversity kit, wasn't it? It wasn't just... Yes, it was, yeah, definitely. It was like, you know, introduce female guardsmen and mm -hmm. um, I think that was the key thing, wasn't it? Like, yeah, female guards with different skin tones or different, like, features and characteristics on the characters and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, we, I want some more models. I want, I want them to expand. If you could expand any part of the guard, what would you see change? Well, uh, haven't they? The problem is, I think with the guard at the moment is, haven't they kind of just written themselves into a corner recently? Where they've said like, if you don't use Games Work official models yeah. bits and kits, you can't play at Warhammer World. Yeah. And then there are like eight different Imperial Guard regiments, but only two of them have official models. I think I'm not that's big the on case. Imperial Guard. Like, so you I can get Katachan and you can get Cadian models. Yeah. And then there is that like... A, um, about a year ago, they did like the, the Russian looking ones. Yeah. They were like I, a special made to order purchase, weren't they? Yeah, there was them. The There's monsters. the kind of Desert Rider ones. Yeah. Um, I think that... And then obviously you've got the Tempesta Scions, which are their own little element. But yeah, that, that, that kind of Russian style one and the... Uh, the Desert Rider ones look amazing. A bit annoying. But, yeah, they're, um, they're definitely a dead part of the game at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, I hope they'll get a bit of love in the near future. I can see them getting a bit of love in the near future. But I don't know what you do with their rule set. They're, they're probably a ways down the ways down the line, actually, now mm. I think about it. I think Krieg is a very interesting choice for the one to pick. Like, yeah. It's very brave. I mean, they've got a, bit, they've got a big like cult following, but... It's definitely not something players have got sitting on their shelves, you know. If you have, you have invested hard in it because it's expensive. Yeah. Is, is it the exclusive Forge World Army? Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. yeah. Pretty much, isn't it? Yeah. My, my dad bought some because he looked, thought they looked cool. I think he bought a couple of the horses. And they were like 20 quid each for a single horse. Oh, and they're resin models. Oh, no. I mean, there, there <laughs> I show my computer desk right now. It's, uh, it is 
sea of resin. <laughs> <laughs> You're working on the contempt of dreads, aren't you? Still, uh, the flying converted oh, yeah. jetpack guys is what I'm working on at the moment. They look so freaking cool. So they're like 30k <laughs> mixed with 40k models, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah, my custom lightning claw, storm shield, all that sort of jazz. You'll get away with them in a in a tournament, I suppose, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think I'll get away with them anywhere apart from Warhammer World, apparently, who doesn't like. I don't get it. I don't get that change. No, but it's, it's, to be fair, I think it's, it's their game, it's their tournament, but now yeah, it's their the, business. The, the LGT crew who are just exploding at the moment, the people running all these big tournaments up and down the country, and they're obviously going to take a much more, hopefully, a much more relaxed and pragmatic view of customizing and that sort of thing. So I'm not too worried. I think for a lot of people, that's the one of the key parts of the game, isn't it? Yeah, the the customization, yeah. the the fun that can be had with that. Anyway, it's tragic to be going against that and not encouraging that side of the game. Yeah, a bit sad. But um, onto the positive things then. So orcs mm. are obviously featuring today heavily. I reckon people have had they had tyrannids been floated about. Obviously, I've got a large tyrannid army that I'd love to add to. You've had tyrannids. I've not heard that rumor at all. Yeah, yeah, because apparently they're they're fighting on some planet somewhere. So I've heard uh, there's oh. tyrannid rumors going around. Now you've said it. I've seen the, the picture. It's on yeah. the it's on the article, isn't it? Talking about this this live stream actually. Oh shit! If there's tyrannids in there, oh so damn son! New models in God knows how long. Oh man! So we're gonna get new old boys. I mean, yeah. officially revealed. I know we had. The semi-official reveal because they crept into the Cadian or the they were the Gorgs Ghost spots, weren't they? They're on the yeah, Gorgs Ghost spots. That's a cool so. little box. That looks very cool. <laughs> Mate, the internet once again thwarts game workshop. I'm having a cool <laughs> release. <laughs> I love it. Um, we'll get those. We'll get some more cool stuff, including probably we've seen on the Beast Snagger thing the uh, on like the ruins they had on the wall, the sort of murals. There mm. seem to be some real big what looked to be kind of like engines of war. Now that would be sick, a big I, engine I, of war pulled by yeah, beasts. Yeah, like the, the beast snaggers, they haven't grabbed him yet. They haven't. I, I, I'm waiting for something big. I want some big, chunky monster thing that's going to like <laughs> be the centerpiece model. Like the, the, the new boys were fine. I'm not going to buy new old boys. I've just painted 90 of them. It almost killed me. It was brutal. <laughs> uh, the Beast Snagger boys, what they got like a six up in bone or something? Is their big? Uh, and they've got the six up in bone, they've got the plus one strength as well, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, that's nice. That's nice. I still. Ooh, we, are, we, are, we are talking. Are we in? Are we in? Yeah, we're in. And we are, we are leading with Kill Team. So uh, let me just expand this. We're leading with Kill Team 2.0. We can watch it again. We're ahead of the game. We are ahead of the game. We should work for Games Workshop. <laughs> are you listening, Games Workshop? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm not. I'm not super hyped for the orcs yet. I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I want to see a proper unit of beast snagger cavalry or something like on the table. I want to see some rules. I think they did preview something that they like mortal wounds on the charge. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I think they got some cool. They got some cool tidbits. I mean, obviously, we just we just haven't seen. Full on data sheets, full on rules. The the flavour of the of a, of a unit typically comes in the rules. You don't see till you get the codex mm. in your hand. You get the fun mm. little sneaks, I suppose. But apart from that, um, you'll never know how good something looks until it's in your hand. But no. um, I wonder if I at first, I think I, I underestimated toughness five. I think that's going to be like when someone yeah. turns up with like I mean I, I run ninety nine four points by max, but I know people who run one twenty one fifty one eighty. Someone puts 120 toughness fires models on the board. You just find and they're all obsec and go yeah. an objective based game. I think it's horrible. I think it's yeah. absolutely grim. It's crazy. I mean, I was I mean, doing I... something toughness fire the other day in game. I was just like, oh, and I actually I started thinking about the orcs. I was like, this is really difficult actually. I'm losing a lot of efficiency here, like that. <laughs> you know, like, I can imagine there's, there's 90 of these on the board. Yeah, I think you, you lose efficiency in both shooting and melee. I mean, I think it was Space Marines, like they, they do decent work in melee and they yeah. just will not they will not clear the hordes like they had done previously. No, as soon as you're wounding on fives, like that's that's a huge amount of efficiency. So I mean if you can wound on fives and you can apply even something like a six up feel no pain beer or pain boy. Oh, here we go. The boys, Adam and Eddie. I can turn up just what a smidge so we can hear them. Oh, mate, I am absolutely buzzing. And the JD is flowing nicely. 
I don't have any sound on my end, but I'm assuming it's coming through okay on yours. Oh shit! Yeah, it should be coming through okay. Yeah, like I say, technical side of things. Uh, I can share sound with you, my man. Exciting. It's a delight to have you here. You've already read my mind nice. quite a few of you. You're already screaming into the, the internet, rate, the location from where similar. you are is tuning the, um, the, in. Please the new do hit us up. It's, a, it's new great AOS fun to see where sports. people are coming in. I love those models. Uh, the first one I saw was And there's that new kind of like gnarled kind of lizard thing with a guy Georgia, riding. Georgia, USA, Glasgow, Scotland. It's going oh, to... Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, um, I'll find it as we go. Oh, look at the Eye of Terror. Aberyst within Wales. Atlanta, Georgia, Virginia, Norfolk, USA, Tennessee, Norway... Utah, Florida, just so many places around the world where all of you awesome people have come and joined us. So what excited. promises to be, hand on heart, an amazing Warhammer preview online. Whew. What is there to do? I should acknowledge some of the people who are busy helping yeah, make things work. Acknowledging people. Yeah. Mate, now that you've said Tyranids, I am so freaking jazzed. I don't even have Tyranids and I want to see Tyranids. I don't even know what. I want... I want a new unit. That's what I want. I don't want a, like just like a, a new orc boy. I don't want a new timid warrior. I want yeah. a new unit. You know what I mean? So that would be because we have got nothing new that I could think of in eight, four, nine. We should probably talk yeah. about three, four years. When did eight come out? Must uh, be three years of eight. Years ago. Year of nine. Something yeah. Like that. Four years, five. Yeah, we're, we're we're one year into ninth now, basically, and yeah. and we played eight for four years, three like years. That. So, yeah, three or four years, I should say. there's not been a new, a new NIDS kit in all that time. God, Jesus, a new NIDS kit. I, I don't even know what you, you do with them. There's so many There's so many ways you can go, so many avenues you can go down. Do they need an elite troop option? Yeah, oh, they definitely, do they, they do need a new kit. They need a new kit for the, um, what are they? Like they're like like hive guard, but like the close combat version. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, hive tyrant, no hive. hive not yeah. They're like the hive tyrant's bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. Tyrant guard. They just called tyrant guard. Maybe something like tyrant guard. Yeah, I know what you mean. The melee version of the hive guard. Yeah. Yeah, and at the moment they're just like little like boulders, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little boulders. Yeah, they literally are little boulders. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see that. That would be freaking sweet. Um, God, yeah, I don't even know to be honest. I'm very excited to see see what they come up with. I think with the thing with Tyranny is the range is so vast and you see so little of it because so little of it has been good for you know. Yes, yeah. Bringing in harpies, bringing in something like the flying dude, and you know the big flying like pterodactyl looking thing, and like all these things would that could potentially have a resurgence would act as new models basically for a lot of people. I love them just to throw out just like because some of the models are just awful. Like they're like the high hive crone and just throw out as whatever the rules it is now and just redesign it yeah you know, just make something completely different you know like we've got a fantastic model that never gets used let's do something cool with it definitely 100 percent agree um we may well miss bits and pieces of this chat if there's important things to talk about but most of the stuff normally comes in the videos isn't it yeah so we can do a recap at a later date i suppose but i am just waiting for that first trailer and if, honestly if this first trailer is anything about Lord of the Rings, shutting the stream down straight away. Thank you. Like, good night. If they show me a new Ent model, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> the uh, clip of Elrond. <laughs> in his sick iteration in metal form. I don't think I need to see that again. But I have... Um, I brought props for this little, uh, little video. It's the only orc thing I own at the moment. My old Iron Jaws AOS book. So I'm repping the Orcs. Man, I, that, that, that one game still gives me nightmares. Oh, mate. I, I sold the army after that. I was like, I can't do this again. <laughs> Arnie cried. <laughs> broken. I was like, the Iron Jaws were so freaking good. I, I'd never seen such luck in my dice roll either. I think for anyone who doesn't know Iron Jaws in the way that AOS works, basically you alternate combat unless you're an Iron Jaws, in which case I just swept them off the board. It was one turn. I felt so guilty. They're like core army rules. If you fight and you completely destroy the unit you're attacking, you get to fight again. And honestly, you just started at one end of the line and just rolled up my mate's army. You didn't <laughs> fail a single one. Just literally just handed him units one at a time. Oh, so, man. I felt so guilty. <laughs> <laughs> was brand new to the hobby, really trying to get him in, like, yeah, it'd be great, come and join us, like, Warhammer's fantastic, we have a little friendly game, boom, <laughs> like it's, it's, I mean, I think, I, I really think I have an issue when it comes to 
underrating what things can do. <laughs> I did this with the Admech. I was like, oh, I think I've, I've written a fairly tame list. And then they're just fucking broken. Oh, here we go. Right, we're in. So first big announcement of the day. What we have in. The kill team, of course. Oh, there's loads more models than I thought. Oh no, I need to buy that. First thing that has hit me is I absolutely love that terrain. Boom, there it is. Like, Warhammer 40,000. Well, I'll mute them. Crazy. We can Eddie, go back and listen to this know? later, but I'm sure we're going to see little previews of models as they as they bring them up. But yes, I agree. First thing that struck me was there was that terrain looked freaking insane. Oh, I so don't need any more terrain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy it because you've got all the terrain. Look yes. at that, though. And how many different models was that? I didn't see any repeats. Well, I saw the... The Death Corps had at least, I would have said, 10 models. Yeah. Which was, what was the old kill teams? They were up to five models? Like five or six, yeah, they were small. So it makes sense, I guess. With the Imperial Guard, you bring more guys. That's the, the whole. Ones went up to like eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that sort of area. That's the whole shtick behind them, isn't it? They just thrown waves after waves of their own men at you. But um, there is an orc model in here we might get a little glimpse of in a second that's wearing like almost like, a, I guess, kind of like a ghillie suit or like a. One of those like nighttime operative suits. He's got like a little kind of hat on, a little woolen hat. It yeah. looks freaking sweet. I thought that was, for a second I thought I was watching a bit of the division. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh man, I had serious division vibes. You know what Definitely. I mean? Definitely. <laughs> I was based in the White House and going patrol. Like. All right. I'll um I'll buy this one, Miguel, and I'll give you the terrain. <laughs> <laughs> What's this film painted, yeah? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Actually, that is really nice. I think we could probably do a couple of those to make a, like an orc stronghold. That would look pretty sick, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've been talking to you recently. I do want to start an orc army, and I want it to be themed around the uh, the speed freaks. Yeah, they definitely tie in nicely with the speed freaks. It would be pretty cool. I mean, the, all the new models look good, but I want a few shock shock drunk dragsters, what are they called, and the yeah. uh, whirly nice, whirly uh, gig swizzy swizzy wags, what are they called. <laughs> I don't think that's even close to being one. <laughs> I think they just drank a bottle of JD when they were making it up and just went for it. <laughs> we'll just scribble it down. Let's give the paper to our kids. They can name it. Oh, that is nice terrain. It's oh, really, well, really nice. I like the, um, the kind of like pieces on the floor as well. Just the kind of, I guess, thematic style in like the, mm -hmm. the crumpled up. It looks like a bit of like a, you know, a, a wreck, a trash heap. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very cool. And I'm just, oh. It's I sucking know. you in, man. I can, yeah, yeah. When, when Miguel makes that sigh, that means he's going to buy this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I recognise that sigh. Resigned to the fact. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm buying it. <laughs> I've still got two of the Necromunda terrain kits that I need to finish building. <laughs> Necromunda, a game we always say we'll get into, and then every time yeah. we play, we just play 40k. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the problem with like 90% of games that we start. We look at the so room, true. We, we get some models, paint them up, and we go, Can we go 40k? Yeah, go on. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we, we, I think we're focusing on 40k for the, for, for the foreseeable, but if people want to see us play something else, we can learn on channel together um, quite happily, too. So you've but, got the core book in there, top left? Oh, I'd better buy this, hadn't I? Because I am playing, I am going to be starting both of these armies. Well, I've started the Imperial Guard Army. Mm. Or well, started buying them, shall I say, not started doing anything else to them. I won't be painting them for an awful long time. Now we're talking. Right. Oh, my God. Those models look amazing. Top left. What is that? What is that weapon? Whatever it is, is it's going to be kicking out. It looks like almost an like orc version of a Tesla, like a Tesla carbine. Not, I think it's a battering ram. Oh, you might be right, actually. Yeah, like, it's a, like a pressurized ram. It looks like a piston, doesn't it? yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got the big dude with the piston. You've got the little dude on the left who looks like kind of, I don't even know, like your secret operative. 
yeah, a bit of a specialist behind those lines sort of guy. I love the grot. The grot is incredible. <laughs> that grappling gun. Yeah, yeah. The burner boy looks fucking sick as well. Treating that's a heavy slugger, top right. What is that? That's one hell of a gun. I mean, in previous in previous versions of Kill Team, you were just repurposing 40k models, weren't you? So I remember the Admet Kill Team was like Sakari and Rust Stalkers or Sakari and Infiltrators, mm -hmm. and they didn't have different loadouts to 40k. So does that mean that all of these are representative of a weapon that's in 40k already or will be? Oh, I'd say so. Yeah. Hope hopefully. Yeah, yeah. I've not seen a grappling gun on a Gretchy before, but I'd love oh, that would be a cool little new thing. Oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah. If you gave me Gretchy, the effectively treated it like um, you know, like the Harlequin's um belts that lets them just like bounce yeah, through yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you could have a unit of ten Gretchy that just basically ignore anything, ignore models, ignore buildings, ignore everything, just run just through. Zipping around the board. That would be sweet. I'd rate that. Yeah. The power claw looks amazing on the commando. Or commando kill team. Then you've got flame dude bottom right. Yeah, big burner Solid boy there. Burner boy, yeah. Oh, there's more. There's so many skulls. There's so our, many. Uh, bottom left is our... Yeah, that's our um, division, division guy. <laughs> <laughs> Another new weapon. Or maybe they're just like... Being a bit more relaxed with what they think the guns look like, you know. I mean? I mean, yeah, the whole point of all is they're just complete scrap all together, aren't they? Although, whatever the dude in the middle has got, yeah. looks some sort of like copper coil gun. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Top gun. right's got to be probably a new tank buster. Yeah, yeah, that's what the tank busters look like. Um, and then I guess the others are just effectively would be commandos. And a classic bomb squig. Oh, the bomb squig looks actually looks incredible. What a paint job on that bomb squig, actually. Yeah. I'm impressed. It's a good start. It's a great start. We've obviously got to see the Death Corpse guys, but you can see these guys slotting in nicely to your orcs. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Those I would be happily get. And it's like within that, obviously, you've got like four different models from like four different units, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see like how many new sculpts are coming. Can you buy a tank buster unit now with like different variants of that sculpt in it, or is it just going to be available in this kit? You know what I mean? Yeah. Where do you come down on on that? On like the idea of basically, say they're going to refresh the entire orc line, and you're an existing orc player who has all this these models already. Are you cool with that, or are you a bit annoyed that you've invested previously? Uh, no, I'm fine with it. The, the game's got to move on. You, you don't have to use them, you know. You don't have to buy them. You can still use your ones, right? No, I agree. But uh, you've got to keep ticking over, you know. There's always a place for the older models for sure, but these new ones look incredible. Look at the stitched arm on the guy where his um, claw is. Mm. That thing. So is that you know or way better than me? Is that going to be potentially a new sort of heavy weapon like um? Like a rock saw or something that Gene Silicolt exactly said? That's what I was thinking of. Gene Silicolt, it's got like seismic drill, Gene Silicolt, exactly that sort of thing. Heavy weapon you can put on a unit. I want to see that on a unit of boys. <laughs> I want to see the boys be able to take that. But um, what's an orc, what's an orc like heavy weapon squad called? Is there even one? Uh, so the, like the, You've got looter boys. Yeah, looter boys are the heavy shooters. I would have said the knobs are the heavy close combat ones. Right. They get you know, they got some decent weapon options. They can have quite a lot of different stuff. Oh, mate, that looks the dead eye, the paint job on the dead eye looks so freaking cool. I didn't even spot a third blade in his mouth either. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's so walky. <laughs> he can't <laughs> even use it. <laughs> Where should I keep it? I don't know. I and I think that's a blade in his back, probably with the bound. Yeah, there's one more at his waist as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I rate that. Slasher boy. Slasher boy. Bomb squig and commando grot. That is the commando grot is just yeah. fired. I mean, he's we're treading treading dangerously close to a gimp suit with what he's wearing. <laughs> it's zipped up to the mouth. I mean, come on. <laughs> 
It's a little bit on the nose, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I'm oh, not complaining. Man. It looks fucking great, but I love that squig as well. That squig looks freaking awesome. That is really cool. I'm sure we've seen the rules. Have we seen the rules yet for the bomb squigs? I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, here we yeah, go. I think it's like 12 inch rate. Oh, here we go. Oh, they look awesome. This is in the way for people like Bob. Maybe I can build it. Love the guy at the back just press the bad press boom on the demolition charge. Yeah, that's so cool, isn't it? Very cool models. So I don't really know the law behind the Death Corpse of Creek, but the one on the very left holding the book and the, the sign of the Aquila. Mm. Are they, because that's a very much, I've just been building my sisters and that's very much a, a piece of kit you can equip with the sisters is, is the hand with the book and the Aquila. So I wonder if they're, they're sort of slightly more um, virtuous and, and holy and religious than the rest of the other. Yeah, I don't know anything about them at all. I'll definitely have to check out some of the law though, because these are looking quality, aren't I they? rate the kind of death skull masks, they look really cool. Oh, yeah, they're all gas masks. I mean, yeah. There's definitely some inspiration to take it from a certain world war, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. It's hard not to uh, see, see the references here, isn't it? <laughs> they're just missing the spike on the helmet, aren't they, really? Just to really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think they purposely put them in brown boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's how the guy's not fooling anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you take away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the comparison now before it gets a bit too close to the bone. But yeah, they're um, quite a, a bleak imagery right there, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I rate that. Oh man, what's really annoying is yeah, I've just got into the into the Imperial Guard, and if you were to tell me, if you were to tell me as I bought them that they were suddenly going to do Death Corpse in plastic, <laughs> ooh, oh. baby, that would have been. A Keep the Bane blade, put the rest back on eBay. <laughs> there's every there's every possibility. I do that. I've got a few tank commanders. I've got a tanks. Hellhound. I got. Death Corps must use tanks. They, they do, tanks. yeah. It's just the infantry. I think is the only thing. That's different. So yeah, you stick the, the Cadians I, back on. The more I see these, I'm wondering if they will be like the Zealot veteran will be a specialist within kill teams. But I think in 40k, this will just be. Yeah, hundred percent, just normal dudes. Was, you know? Yeah, and but I don't know how that works for the orcs one. They were such unique special weapons. Yeah, I think the orcs are maybe a bit different. These guys are, these guys are hundred percent just going to be a, a normal squad of guys. And then the only thing that maybe is a bit different is I'm sure I saw a medic in this box. Okay. So it might cut to it in a second, but I'm sure I saw a guy pull in a syringe and then a separate model with a selection of syringes in it. Mm. So unless they introduce medics within infantry squads. Maybe they do that. I don't know. That cool. Be, That'd be a cool that, addition. I've done that before with the um, Space Marines. They have um, in the infiltrator unit, you can take a medic. Yeah, you can, can't you? Which is a really cool addition like that. Yeah. Yeah, here you go. This guy. Oh, yeah, that is a medic's bag, isn't it? Yeah, yeah and he's got obviously his tools and he's pulling a syringe as he's. Medic veteran. Yeah, it would be interesting to see if they've done. I mean, it doesn't look like the, the scale of what I'd expect a standalone model to be. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't you wouldn't think him as yeah. You, you wouldn't pay twenty quid for him, would you? No, no. I definitely expect him to be in the squad, and maybe that gives them a cheeky six feel no pain or something. You know, like an extra ten points or oh. that would I mean maybe that's too good, but that would be interesting. Bring back bring back a model a turn. It doesn't really matter on guard. I mean, oh look at that. All right, give me a price tag. Right, well, that's got to be several boxes together. That can't be just the one box, can it? Um, are there repeats in the terrain? I don't see. I would say they are. They mirror each other on the top and bottom, except for the one in the middle. Oh, no, okay, I guess it is one box. Yeah, I don't see any repeats. Ah, shit, i got to buy it. <laughs> that's an insane amount of terrain. I rate the, the orkiness of the terrain as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Quite functional as well, classic. You can put it in some nice L shapes, lots of space underneath. 
I tell you, you know what, what we've noticed as well. In, in the, we played a game we didn't film the other week, um, and since the the kind of you know the the recognised rules for terrain has come out, is that the bottom floor blocks line of sight. Exactly what I was just about to say. Yeah. Yeah. And if you look at this, look at that. It's not a window in the entire thing. Very different to the previous field team stuff, mm. which was all that kind of. Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, you've uh, you teased us enough. I'll hand over some money right now for that. It looks freaking awesome. 120 GW price? I, I would say that's a very good price for that. I can't remember that. Let me, I'm going to go on the older internet. And what did the last kill team box? Probably about that. I mean, that's standard for a box, but that's standard for, say, what was the... The Phoenix one, the, the first Psychic Awakening one, which was the Elder versus Dark Elder one, was 120. I think people lost their shit for it, but it obviously didn't contain terrain and rules. And oh, yeah, that was one that like, broke the internet, wasn't it? Yeah, so I think 100 is standard for a new box. What was Indominus? Oh, God, 120? Maybe less, I think, because when Indominus was on there, everyone was stunned how that it was as much as people were expecting. It was like an insane deal. It was a good deal, and then obviously people scammed it, and then they... They did the uh, the build to order, which was one of the coolest things Games Workshop has ever done. Was just to absolutely fuck over the scammers, rate that highly. Um, I really hope the rest of this live stream is not us watching him unbox a kill team box. Yeah, it's interesting. Like it's an interesting marketing practice unboxing. There's a actually it does the complete opposite for me. Like, what they're the, the not excite you? Yeah, you show me like this like beautifully painted terrain with orcs and like it looks amazing i'm like yes i'm gonna buy that like yeah, yeah. The second you open it up and you show me the reality which is like 50 stacks of plastic and you go, yeah. okay, you got to build this cut this clip this paint this do everything i'm like whoa, whoa. <laughs> sell them the dream not the <laughs> yeah, reality <yeah>. guys. <laughs> I don't want to see the hard work that goes in behind the scenes. I want to see the, the I want my name in lights. Like. Yeah. <laughs> if he opens that box and it's all painted and it <laughs> <laughs> and it comes out with an orc holding a bottle of JD, I'll be like, fuck yeah, find me that day one. But yeah, it's gonna be sprues galore. Oh, oh indeed. <laughs> my heart sinks. <laughs> That's, um, just looking at it. That's a lot of plastic. <laughs> that's an awful lot of plastic. I mean, that's, I'm glad you're getting this one. <laughs> I, look, I I promise I'll get this one. You've bought enough terrain, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a lot of plastic. Don't expect anything close to a good paint job on it. <laughs> I slap some color on a quick dry brush, and away we go. I think with these ones here. You don't need much of terrain. No, to be fair, terrain's quite nice, isn't it? It's the it's the orcs. I, the annoying thing is orcs I think are they're a pain in the ass to paint in quantity, but actually they owe when you see a nicely painted orc army, it is. Oh, oh, oh I got all right. So I can't find the original kill team launch box because it's been discontinued or whatever, yeah. right? But I have found the most recent one, which was Kill Team Pariah Nexus. Right. Yeah, which was the five heavy intercessors, the five um, blade bonds. Uh, oh, good, yeah. A captain, a uh, some sort of HQ for the Necrons, and then that just awful looking, like little blocky terrain. It wasn't yeah, like, yeah, it was like horrible. scatter terrain. It's the Necron scatter terrain. Yeah. How much do you reckon that lot was? Knowing how overpriced the heavy intercessors are, I'm going to probably highball it, but I'm going to go for one or five. That was 95. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's, that's just because we've come to accept that somehow heavy intercessors are 40 quid. Yeah. That's just insanity. Yeah, so that was 95, and the terrain in that is just garbage. Really yeah, so yeah. so the terrain is thrown to the side. So what, walk me through what you get in that box again. Five heavy intercessors and a captain. Yeah. Five blade ones and a Necron HQ. 95, yeah, yeah, that's well, that's actually really expensive. That's crazy. Because like they're supposed to be a discount box. 
So that was a kill team box. That wasn't like a Indominus no, starter kit box. Kill team for Iron Nexus. Weird. Okay. Mm. Didn't realise that. Which I think that's got to be up there from the worst deals ever done. <laughs> heavy, heavy interceptors, man. Eight pounds each. <laughs> that is abs. When you put it in that that kind of that term, that is they're, wild. They're like slightly bigger Primaris Marines with nothing interesting about them. Like no like cool details or fantastic poses, you know, like just you, you could going like this holding a gun that's got the yeah. nose like You could show me one one next to a normal primary synthesis side by side and as a as a layman in terms of space marines, I'd probably struggle to pick out the differences. Yes, yes. I mean they it's it's interesting they've done it this way round, because like we had obviously we had inceptors, we had um, aggressors, we've had eradicators. And like the last thing that they've released is the bare bones boring do. Yeah, it's you know what I mean. Like they, these are the rank and file guys with bolt guns. You know, like they're, they're not the interesting ones. And now they have whacked the price of like forty quid on them. It's just like whoa. <laughs> yeah, it is weird actually. Now you put it like that. It's it's strange. We have every variation apart from the basic troop. Did everything come out before that? I including like the land speeders, the Goliath tank. Were they the last thing? Yes. Yes. Weird really weird way of doing it and i think they've i don't think they've quite hit the scene like gw hopes i've not seen anybody really talking about them or taking them and i think a big part of that is just the price yeah are they for points per model are they worth it do you think no you're talking eight pounds for a 28 point model no sorry regardless of price so take price out of it in the right. game are they good uh no i found them really underwhelming hmm. I didn't so know you've got a horrible mix there. Yeah, so like they have the same number of attacks as a normal Primaris, which yep. is sad. They should have one extra attack. Yep. If you ask me. They've got no close combat options whatsoever. Yeah. And their guns are identical versions, but rather than being strength four, they're strength five. And how many points extra? Eight points more per model. So you get an extra wound and an extra wound strength on your guns. Bonus. So maybe they maybe they come into their own in an orc meta, but at the moment, incredibly. Yeah, maybe they do, but they just and they're slower. They're only movement five. Ah, that's a killer. Mm -hmm. That is such a killer because this game is all about movement. It's got nothing to do with anything else, really. Uh, they just haven't excited me. I want. I mean, like, I would say oh, I'd love them to have a like some, some close combat options, then you're basically talking Blade Guard veterans, aren't you? But then Blade Guard veterans aren't actually in Gravis armor, are they? Because only toughest four. They're a weird one. This is such a weird model. But God, we're still going through this box. We are doing an actual unboxing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, what time is it? Half past six. Is, is this it? I mean, it's a big, it's a hell of an announcement, to be fair. Killzone, I guess this is 2.0, although I assume you'll be able to carry over your uh, your dues, but with updated rules, I'm sure that'll come down the line. But we will promise more than this. I've, I'm sure that we'll get some more Orc stuff coming up in a second. Mm. Um, and, oh, dude, just give me that Tyranids. Give me those Tyranids. Tyranids are like, really are one of the most beloved armies in the whole of 40k, and for that, you'd expect them to have seen, received a lot more love than they have. Yeah, yeah. They, they've never made it into a Vigilus or a Caradon or any of those things, which is really sad. They're in a Psychic Awakening? Yes, they were with the Blood Angels. They got some okay stuff in there. They got the, is that where they got the Warriors Ignore AP1 and 2? Yes, it was. So yeah. that's, the, that's the thing that stands out to me. But there was a lot of it that went straight in the bin. There's never yeah. been use. A lot of it, like they like custom traits for making your own things. Right? Yeah, that's. I mean, the, the psychic Wagner stuff was a bit very hit and miss across the board. I remember, like the Admic one being one, one big being hit. very shit. One being <laughs> one was incredible. One was the um, the Catafrons five up in one, and they could do the bring them back like, to life. Bring them back to life, which was I thought I really expected that to make it into the new book because I thought that was a really cool fluffy thing, and especially mm. seeing the downgrade that Catafrons have got since. I thought I would see that. Yeah. But... Didn't you have to have a servitor model that you like physically sacrificed? Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. That was it really was a cool, cool. grim dark thing. 
but you know, it's better. Yeah, I can't. I can't really complain where Admech ended up. I suppose while we wait for the next big announcement, and whilst they continue to unbox things, this is what, we're going to see all this when we get our own boxes. Um. Yeah, anyway, Warzone Caradon launched today, and we've obviously touched on Bellacore being 360-point beat stick that we think is good, even though the Goon, Goonhammer arc is thought average. Have you read the updates on Sisters and Admech? No, I haven't. So the Sisters stuff is um, the same treatment, effectively, that the Cult Strife got in the last Caradon book, which is um, one specific faction or one one specific um order within the sisters which is order of armored lady and they just got a bunch more options so new relics new wall of traits new stratagems and i'd say on the whole it's middling to average um middling to average being the same thing middling um but uh, some of the stratagems are quite nice um and then the admix stuff it i'm intrigued by it because Admech's biggest thing going for them right now, they are hilly as hell, but I think is their resilience. They are oh. certain builds, they are unkillable. When you drop that one up save on me the other day, <laughs> you're just like, oh yeah, but Jamie, you're, this, you're a vehicle standing out in the open. You're like, yeah, we've got this rule and this rule and this rule, and therefore I'm a one up save out in the open. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. Mars, a Mars, uh, a Mars, yeah, a Mars unit receiving the benefit of. Canticles of the Omnissiah, i.e. Shroud's arm, and then obviously being his Qatari model, so benefiting from a Doctrine, a plus one to save. It, it cannot be more frustrating than that, I can imagine. <laughs> I was like, oh, so that's just this guy. What about that guy? No, no, he gets it as well. What about this unit over here? Yep, yeah, just army-wide. Army-wide, one-up save. So, um, yeah, I'm intrigued to see what you think of, of the, um, the Abnex stuff, because basically what happened was they got a one of those kind of you have to build your army in this very specific way to benefit from the bus field so that's what they got so uh, those are the that seems to be the trend of the new character box you, books you get an army supplement so cult strife got theirs order of our mind lady got theirs and then you get effectively what are vigilist detachments or i guess caradon detachments now um so it has to be a, it's called a skitari veteran cohort and um i believe you can only take troops that are skitari veterans thereafter so once you pick it you you have to Takes Qatari veterans. You can't take your normal Vanguard or um, Rangers. They have to be veteran Vanguard, veteran Rangers. And you pay an extra two points per model. And for that, you gain an extra one leadership. You gain a five up in one. And you gain, depending on the unit type, Rangers get, um, if they didn't, if they don't move, they gain the benefit of uh, light cover. And if you are Vanguard, you gain the, the, uh, the strangest benefit I've seen thus far, which is ignore blast or basically you can't go blast above six you mod six models so you're only ever getting the flat three shots rather than your full shots against like a unit of 20 which is mad i've never seen that model that that uh, rule before That's but brand new. give that to the orcs give that to the orcs man 100 percent, 100 percent. give that to the orcs i'll be shocked if there's not something like that actually it was strapped when someone targets you to turn off their blast yeah, exactly. But a unit of 20 Vanguard is, is like, that's the staple now. That's what you build your army down. So if you can tell me now, but basically you go for 40 points, I'm getting a five up in bump, plus one leadership, ignore blast and access to these new stratagems and new wall of traits and new relics. Um, I think it's an interesting deal because the new wall of traits are meh, but one of the new relics is you can put it on your Satari Marshal or you can put it on... Um, your vanguard sergeant like you can do with the current uh, relics and wall of traits and it is you can repeat a combat doctrine so you could have ballistic skill two for two turns <laughs> you could have plus one to your save for two turns for, for, uh, it might be for any number of turns actually i need to read that again it's but, like wall of traits keep doing every turn i guess so yeah uh, or it's the relic, I can't remember which way around it is, but oh. there's that. And then there is a bunch of stratagems, including, um, I'm, sure, I'm sure I saw for three CP, so expensive, but for a veteran core unit, it might even be a veteran core infantry unit, it's plus one to wound, which in Admech is expensive for three CP, but in Admech is incredible. Um, for two CP, you can get five up, feel no pain on a core unit. Oh, say that again. 
two CP. It's two CP or three CP depending on power level. But I believe on the the chickens it'll be three CP. On the unit of Vanguard it'd be two CP. Uh, a five up feel no pain. Amazing. Five up involved, five up feel no pain. Yeah. On the chickens, man. Think of the chickens now having a five up feel no pain, and you could give them a two up save. Two up save, five up feel no pain. That's horrendous. The chickens are now basically unkillable. I'm not sure how that stacks with um, the existing, like, um, you know, four twelves and things like that. But the best I can think of is if you go Lucius, you could then have your chickens receiving the ignore AP one and two, um, the five up feel no pain. Oh no, that, I'm, I'm, I need to have a look again. What? Yeah, because you could do the five, the ignore AP one and two. I'm not sure if the Lucius wall or trade infantry, but if it is, then you would have the um, Transhuman. <laughs> whatever way you, whatever way you shake it, it just—it's all it's done is added more durability to Abmec, which I'm sure you will be very glad to hear. I just crunch some just some very basic numbers, right, Jamie? If you've got a two up save and a five up feel no pain, yeah, yeah. it's all shitting you with a zero AP weapon. Yeah, you need to wound you ninety times to kill that unit. Oh. Oh, 90 times, 90 wounds. Does that, does that not excite you, Miguel? Because it excites <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, mate. To be fair, though, you beat me last time we played Ad, mate. We played again off camera the other day. It yeah. was, um, you were running an absolute hella death watch list versus um, a Mars, uh, not even a mixed force, really. It was mainly Skitari, but with a few fold rights thrown in. Mm. And um, getting my tournament prep list. Getting it's your tournament so list ready. These veterans for. I see, you played it to an absolute tee. It was actually, it would have been a very good game on camera, but we fancied a beers yeah. game where we were just drinking yeah. with it. <laughs> it was one of the best ones I've had in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back. Stick the volume up. Come on, big. Big release. Come on. Commander, the intelligence arrived. Finally. Put it on the screen. Uh, the mission is complete, Yoga Rani. New Advent models? Of they have a number. They have out their ranks as evacuation code Omega 4. All personnel with clearance delta or above is reported to the nearest port of the facility. Final evacuation order. Which system is this? What am I looking at? All of them, sir. The entire sector. This is General Order Alpha 9, Xenos threat level full on. Report. I'll put everything you have on Sigma Mostari oh, now. Issue Order 827 Extremis. Activate the kill teams. I need to know what's going on in the Octaria sector. That's a new book. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Boom, there it is. An exciting palette cleanser to uh, move us on from the kill team and back into the uh, more mainstream Warhammer 40,000. Eddie, what did we just see? Cool, so this is um, Octarius, Warzone Octarius, which is the next big narrative jump for Warhammer 40,000. Uh, kill team ties into this because the kill team uh, new box set is set within this region of space, but all of Warhammer 40,000 is going to be impacted by this new narrative. For those of you who know your Warhammer 40,000, Octarius is a region of space, which is a vast orc empire, uh, and what the Imperium has basically done is they've directed uh, oh, a Tyranid cool. Hive fleet into squishy. the middle of this orc empire in the hope that what would happen is they would sort of wipe each other out and mutual destruction would follow. That didn't actually happen. What happened was that the Tyranids uh, managed to find loads of biomass to eat and, uh, and uh, basically chowed down and made loads more Tyranids, and the Orcs have had the time of their life fighting against these massive, enormous um, monsters uh, and got even tougher and stronger, and now both uh, huge enemy armies, the Tyranid High Fleet, the Viathan, and uh, this well, massive shit. Orc War, mm -hmm. both stronger than either were to start with, and are now threatening to break out uh, of the Octarius region, and the Imperium is desperately trying to A, keep them contained, and B, undermine both of them. Uh, different forces by kind of surgical strikes, including things like the kill team um, missions that we know about, uh, undermine both the Tyranids and the Orcs to make sure that there isn't a clear winner in this battle. But effectively, it's a, just a really cool narrative thing for Warhammer 40. I think that thought really speaks Ion. We've explored this before, we've seen Octarius mentioned. <laughs> I can't tell. In, the bloody uh, quality yeah, is so uh, bad. Kind of like throwaway lines in 
in the odd bit of fiction here and there. But this is the first time we're really going to dive into that sector in detail and, and find out what's going on. Um, and there's an awful lot of stuff going on uh, from a kind of political perspective in there. You've got inquisitors with various different agendas who think that um, they should let the tyrannies win or Ooh, okay. some of them think they should let the orcs win or some of them think they should keep them contained. Some of them think that's a terrible idea. Um, there's all these so it's effectively Carrot and Book 3 or whatever we're calling that war zone collection. Um, and on the front lines, you've got these immense kind of three-way battle going on between the Tyranids and the Orcs and the Imperium that are desperately trying to keep them into this. Uh, this so it's like guard, and all of this is guard, wrapped up in Tyranids. a new campaign book that brings loads and loads of narrative, but also ah, brings loads of, um, so bad. Uh, lots of different kind of ways to play through this narrative campaign and also some different rules for some different advice. movies, um, as you would expect. So it's a, it's a really fun thing um, uh, for, for Warhammer 40,000 if you're into your narrative particularly. It also gives yeah. uh, people from a, quite a wide spectrum something to be excited about for Warhammer 40,000. Essentially, if you are Imperial from a number of different uh, sort of factional leanings, if you're into Orcs, if you're into uh, the Tyranid Hordes, uh, then there is something here for you, and that is a delight. Well, okay. that's cool. Um, we'll There's your Tyranid, love. It's going to be new rules rather than new models. How does that feel? Another new oh, we're back. All right. Goddamn. Okay, it's orc stuff, place. and the bloody quality of the stream the shit. Says it's time. For the war. Be snaggers. And always think they know what's coming for them. But what they don't know is we've got even bigger. Oh, squigs. ho, 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 ho. squigs so big they can pull an old rig of boys and they're dead killing. Oh, the wow. Boss has got himself I can a just about make it out and it looks amazing. He ain't gonna walk like the rest of you said, lot. What? Oh, he Holy is. shit. Well, he's the boss. He can do what he's talking well likes. A new oh, beast snagger boss. He's got a gargan all nice and dead. They'll never suspect the boss is using it as a super shooty command center. <laughs> also, I heard the great white Squig is here with that order's nails, boss Scrag oh Even the God. regular boys have got some new stuff. And about them copters, the mechs forgot how to build since Blackreach. <laughs> they remembered them again. <laughs> new but copters as well. That's the signal, boys. Time to get stuck in. Oh my god. What what I I mean, using, uh, right, I'm going to so refresh the stream for the all very quickly and we should be able to get it back up in time. That's what I needed. Oh my god. Dude, I'm trying to get it back up as quick as I can so that we get the... Oh, yeah, they're going through the models. Yeah, before they go through the models, it's just them chatting at the moment. Kill rig. Okay, annoying. Like, be quicker, Jamie. Fucking hell. Because this thing is monstrous. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> It's like they've just took a bunch of shit and just thrown it wherever sticks that stays. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's Look at the blade on the bottom. It's a whiz blade. Oh my god. This dude here is just like guarding the one tyre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, cool. So that guy at the top, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but this guy at the top, yeah, yeah. we saw him the other day. Ah, yes we did. So that's the guy who's got the new psychic discipline. Right. So I wonder if we you can place him on and off it, which would be oh. a really weird thing. Yeah, so but you know, like um, they've just started doing that in Sigma. Mm -hmm. So look, you can oh, go. There's, there's, the there's a different one. Yeah. Okay, because in Sigma there is the new Luminous Realm Lord piece of piece of uh, scenery. That if you place a, war, a wizard on it, it, it sort of buffs him. Uh, a bit like we, like we kind of got, they haven't really explained what's going to happen with that new sniper, have they? The sniper yeah, exactly. A bit of terrain. 
yeah exactly so i wonder if it'll be a bit like that but uh, it certainly looks like there's many different you know you know earlier i said i needed some big models to get me excited is it, are you excited <laughs> i'm excited do you know what you don't need now is them to do an unboxing and show you all the plastic sprues <laughs> don't ruin my dreams <laughs> don't show oh, the hard man. work and graph that needs to go into it <laughs> That looks, it looks amazing, but actually it looks quite nice to paint as well. Yeah. There's not it's too much like weird. Clearly defined elements. Actually. Yeah, exactly. And quite a lot of flat spaces. I, like I think you'd have a good time painting that. But the, um, the different options of the guns has me excited as well. What the hell is this thing's rules? How many attacks is this thing making? Oh. How many points is it? Oh. <laughs> so there is the targeting squig that we saw the other day yes so he'll have a ballistic skill of probably four rather than five he's not there for shooting no he is <laughs> not <laughs> look, at those, look at that sword and that bloody claw that's a quality model yeah, it's class that, like, isn't it cape underneath like lizard hide cape or something that's cool like the yeah, scale. it's weird, isn't it? Um, it reminds me of Age of Sigma Seraphon, Seraphim. Yeah, definitely. Oh, man, if they do a sort of throwback and he's wearing, like, a Lord Croak skin cape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's absolutely banging. We've got the copters as well, the new copters. The, white, oh, the great white squig, okay. That is awesome. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. How nonchalant is he on top of it? <laughs> he looks so evil. Okay. Looks okay. Scary. Well done, Games Workshop. You've made me buy an orc army. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Is this, um, is this what you wanted from the beast snaggers? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted. Holy shit. This is what I wanted. I'd love I... the squig of exhaust on it. Just come out the side. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I wonder if that's an that's alternate awesome. build of the same oh, kit. Uh, I don't know. Is that one as big? Maybe not. I think yeah, I'd be surprised if it's as big. But it's, it's not really a thing you see in 40k, but it is in Sigma. Mm. Alternate builds of the same. Oh, here we go. One one character version, one like generic version. Yeah, exactly. You often get that a lot. Yeah. Well, boys look good. They do actually. They look really nice. But as you said earlier, I mean, if you you were talking about your pointy helmets for the creed. <laughs> yeah, <I was. laughs> they've been stolen. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you said earlier they they will fit in absolutely fine with current orc boys, and you wouldn't bat an eyelid. No, no, I don't think they're. Different enough for me to want to warrant painting another batch. I mean, I'm happy to get. <laughs> you don't fancy doing another ninety of them. Oh, that was brutal. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Ooh. I like this guy in the bottom left. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely the a bit more up, right? They are nice models. There. If I was if I was getting into walks now, I definitely would be very happy to start with those as my old boys. Mm. Yeah, they're very cool. Really nice. Classic power claw. I can't wait to see the copters, man. I always like yeah. the old copters. They really did disappear, didn't they? They would be nice. Bits, I mean, not, orcs aren't slow, but it's always nice to have those units that can zip around the board. Oh, you know? definitely. <laughs> they look so wow. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. They've got a bit of like a... On the top, on the top end of it, and the, with the exhaust and everything, maybe it's just because they're painted in that copper style. But they've got a bit of like a Cadron Overlord feel to them. Definitely, that top right one of the circle. Yeah, yeah. That, like spherical bit there, definitely got a bit of and the, yeah, a bit yeah. of kind of um, steampunky element to it. But um, I love it. <laughs> it's so orky to be flying in a helicopter that has rockets on the front, and he's still got a sword. <laughs> yeah, in one hand, the guy's got a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at the one in the middle. It literally has rockets that like fire to spin the blades. 
Oh, that is so cool. Love that. Okay, so it's going to be a, a kit of three, I'm guessing. Hopefully. I'm like, that would be cool. And three different blades in each one, which I really like as well. It's very unique. Each one's very different. Yeah, they're all completely different, it looks like. Yeah. A lot of individual parts. I like to see the back of the front one so I can see what kind of like exhaust it's got going on, but mm. really like the style there. They look almost completely unique. Like, they do, yeah. Everywhere you look, there's like different bits. Okay, this wow. thing. The so this is a boss bunker, just a terrain piece. Terrain piece, isn't it? It's like the Mad Max megaphones on the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. It's so Mad Max. You're so right. Yeah. It's absolutely like crazy. Garrison it, I imagine, and shoot out of it. So this, is this their, their version of the um, the Necron pillars and the Space Marine bunker? Yeah, I think it probably is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and then the the Death Guard got that plague oh, furnace. Oh, yeah, they, yes, they did. They got the furnace, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, Jukari, Admech, and Sisters didn't get anything. Did Sisters not get something? Oh, Sisters got the Sanctum. Yeah, it's just got the Sanctum. Yes, yeah, it's just got the Sanctum. Jakari didn't get anything. I'm not surprised Jakari didn't get anything because their whole point is a raid. They're, they're never fighting on their own at home planet. Mm. But, and they don't really sort of bunker down and set up. They, they fight fast and they disappear. Admech's not getting something interesting. But... Have they got something already? Uh, Have they got drills? Okay. The they've, got whole, they've got the whole Mechanica Sectum you know, terrain that they interact with already, so... Maybe that counts. I don't know. Um, holy shit. Now that is an announcement right there. That was a reveal. Oh that my God. certainly was. We'll go through, when the stream ends, we'll go through the models again, just very quickly. I, I want you to pick your favourite model out of what you've just seen there. Because there is a lot of cool stuff in there. Okay, so quick recap. We've had the kill zone, which is the Death Corps, the Kree stuff, and obviously the Orcs. Yeah. We've had the rules for the Tyranids and the Orcs and the Astra Militara. And then we've had the new Orc stuff. Can we finish on like a big watch this space moment, do you reckon? Do you reckon they got one more up their sleeves or do you reckon they're winding down? It's a hell of a one to announce, isn't it? That was, that was a lot of new models. It's a, it's a good one to finish on all that Orc stuff. And we know that Orcs are obviously, their codex is probably up, up for order next week. Oh, I hope so. Because, oh no, wait, 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 no. Because didn't they say something ages ago about the Orc codex being pre-released in a box? Yeah, so that box will be up for order next week, I think you're right. So they said the Orc codex is dropping this month in the latest, one of the latest um, Warcom articles. So then they haven't shown us the actual box. They have. It's the Beast Squigger box, the Beast Snagger box. Is there a Beast Snagger box? Is there? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that. Where's that? The Beast Snagger box has got the, the new Beast Snagger boys. It's got the uh, weird weird boy with the, like, the crazy hair, and it's got the three squigs on the guys on Squig Pack. Oh, I totally missed that. Yeah, so it's a new box with those guys in it, the Codex, the you know the usual kind of throwaway tokens and whatnot. Um, and it was, you're right, I'm sure they said it was exclusive to that box for a, a certain amount of time. Which is uh, a way to release a codex. But I, yeah, it is. Maybe it's only exclusive for a week. You can't withhold it from, from a lot of people for very long. Um, they said as well in, the, in a recent walk article that it was going to go on sale this month. So whether they be on sale by itself or on sale in that box, I don't know. Probably in that box. Have they uh, in that box would, would classify or clarify that tenant? Yeah. <sighs> good time. It's a good time. Yeah, good time to be an orc player or a wannabe orc player. Can't wait. Expensive time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I had my heart set on the on the kill team and now I just have my heart set on all that orc goodness. Oh, we have something. Holy crap, this is crazy. What else is there? Suffer not the unclean to live. Inquisitors? Lead us from death to victory. From falsehood 
to truth. Black Templars logo? Lead us from despair to oh, hope, wow. from faith to slaughter. Lead us to his strength. GSC, please. Of war. And that's Black Templars. Is that? Yeah, you're right. Let his wrath fill our hearts. Death. War and blood. In vengeance, serve the Emperor. In the name of Dawn. No way. A Black Templars Codex? A Black Templars Codex? I could get well excited about that. So are Black Templars an offshoot from what's Dawn? He's um... uh yes, Imperial Fist. Imperial Fist. Yes, they are. Holy crap! Not, not gonna say anything else about that. Just gonna. Uh... <laughs> They're just gonna tease you with that one, Miguel. Oh. All right. Let's share screen and we'll go through. Uh, I'll go away. Think about this Twitch stream. Uh. Let's go through the, we'll do a quick summary of what was announced. Okay. Kill Team Octarius. Look at that box. Oh, when I look back on it, actually, that is absolutely incredible. Beautiful. So much cool stuff. So many cool models. That's one of the things, honestly, I think we get, get, get on that box. Maybe get two and we just do it in a day. Just build it, paint it, just absolutely go for it. Maybe we can yeah. like film little bits of it. But like you just want to get that on the table and ready. If we can smash it out, we can definitely have a orc stronghold for when the orc yeah. codex drops. Yeah. If I added my two Necromunda terrains as well, jazz them up, we can make something epic. I think. All right. I think we have a. I think we have a hobby day plan. Yes. Let's go big. I'm all about big, <laughs> and I'm all about one day. Yes, <laughs> I absolutely. Want it I thought, yeah, it's going to be a slog, but let's get it done in a day. Uh, he's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Our division guy. <laughs> division. I like the uh, what was it called? The, the slasher boy or whatever it was. Yeah. Very cool. Very very cool. There's so much in that box. Actually, that's crazy. So much terrain. Oh. Chills. Really, really usable terrain as well. Like a nice ground for blocking. So let's see. Sometimes you get, you get. I'm struggling to know how I feel about. Another war zone book. They're not grabbing me. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, um, I feel, I feel you know, the problem is, right? The problem is, I feel like this is the book that needs to come out six. No, they need to, these books need to come out as soon as the last codex has dropped. Yeah. yeah. Right? And I, I just, I can't get excited for them when I haven't got the codex of the army yet. Like, I want, I want just my basic rules. Okay, give me those first. Let me play with them for a year, yeah, okay, yeah. and then start dropping these things in because it's just getting a bit weird. I'm definitely less excited for my demons in the new Caradon book compared to I would be if I hadn't got the Codex first. Yeah, and it'll be the same for your Tyranids. It'll be the same for the um, Imperial Guard. And everything really. I know what you mean. Definitely. I right. to uh, to quote. I was watching um, Hellstream War Gaming the other day. And they, they hit the nail on the head so directly when they said, like, it's starting to feel a bit like DLC. Like, when your Codex and then your Warzone Caradon comes out a week later. Day one with DLC. Your, with, your, with your literal, and they, they launch together and they go, oh, you just got your brand new Codex. Well, don't forget the extra bits. Yeah, it's so <laughs> true. Yeah, no, that is, that's pretty much bang on, actually. It's very true. Um, they've not really, they don't really shake it up. I think the biggest, um, the biggest things that you take away from it as well have been from the first two books, the the supplement as opposed to the, the new kind of vigilance detachment style things, mm. like the new stratagems that Cult of Strife got and the the warlord trait that you know that broken warlord trait. Those sort of things are the game changers. The rest yeah. is a bit superfluous, it feels, but you know maybe they'll maybe they'll change things. Anyway, here we go. Amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing! What the hell is going? I'm just, I'm having to get very close to my laptop to even see what is happening. <laughs> this bit here, what? The... 
that is happening. Guy just buzz soaring away from anyone nearby. A couple of torpedoes. Oh man. Oh, okay. We've got some new angles on it. Nice. Yeah, so look, he's definitely stuck down to it. So it's not a, a movable model. No. So I guess you have a warp version of it. So like a, a psychic casting one. And then you have a shooty one. But you've lost the gun on the front there, which is interesting. Yeah, you've got one in the middle, though. You've got a cannon in the middle. So that one's got one there already. One in the middle, one in the front, and then a psycho at the back. Oh, yeah, a different cannon on the front. So, you know, potentially loads of customization there. I love the big squig. Mm. That looks freaking sweet. That's a cool model, isn't it? <laughs> you've got to do that paint job on his eyes as well. Like the little <laughs> reticule looks freaking cool. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of detail on him, isn't there? That looks freaking awesome. Da -da -da. Yeah, this thing. Now, it's maybe the coolest looking terrain piece we've seen. Yeah. Whether it will actually be effective or useful, we, you know, we'll have to wait. I get it, just use it as a generic terrain piece with oh stuff. yeah yeah definitely yeah definitely oh, and then we saw this guy previewed a while back and god damn he looks freaking sweet yeah yeah i think you might be right i think it might be the same kit with different options i don't we'll have a look at it. should hopefully get a, a scale thing in a second i just want to point out here what an awesome tribal paint job that person yeah. done is up what sort of dexterity with a paintbrush do you need for that? <laughs> There's me just like plodding it in. <laughs> Getting nowhere near that. Fucking okay, no. hell. Yeah. That is quality. Oh, man, that, that is insane. That paint job. Anyway. Yeah, very cool. And then... I love that weapon. Sort yeah, the, the whole body is face. The whole body's different. It's a very different sculpt, yeah. actually. If you look at the face of the... Thing there, like yeah. even yeah, I think it's different kit. Yeah, I think it's different kit as well. Like even the like if you look at where the creases are in its face compared to the other one, the other one doesn't really have any. So yeah, I think you're right. Um, I love that model though. The mm. uh, that, he looks freaking cool. And then the new Watt boys, which I agree probably don't warrant having to change your whole line. They're nice. They're really nice, actually. But yeah, it's not the it's not the same shift from vanilla marines to primaris, is it? It's no. not that same. Or like um, sisters, the old sisters to the new sisters. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine. Changeable rather than utterly replacing. These guys, hey, though. Copters, yeah. These guys look so cool. <laughs> I'd like to find a way of fitting them to the base so they don't have these bits on it. The little trees. Yeah. They don't really do anything. That. See, that one's fine. I feel like I'd replace the tree one with just like a uh, a bit of a wall section or something. Something a bit more 40k. The yeah. The age of Sigma, that tree, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for me, that one. But. Oh, wow. crap. Wow, there's some scale ideas. Look at the size of the great white shark on the left. Yeah. It's enormous. Huge, isn't he? Look, there's the other. Oh, there's another there's a squeaky rider unit here. Gas cool over there. Okay, so in these ones, you always do, like with the, ne with the Necrons, you never see everything in the preview. So can I, I zoom in? Is there anything you can notice in here that didn't get shown? Are these new knobs or are they existing knobs? Mega knobs. Ooh. I don't know. I've only just got some Meganos. Top right, what we got? Burn They're boys? Uh, jump, jump boys, jump boys. Yes, they are, aren't they? The jump, yeah. ones, jump pack ones. But they look new. I would say they look new. Maybe it's just a paint job. Yeah. I mean, Jamie, what's what's that thing behind Gaz School? Where's Gaz? Gaz would just blow your mouse. What's your mouse on right now? Oh, Gaz here, yeah, sorry. Yeah, now what's the thing to the left of the white? This door? thing here? Yeah. Is it a giant killer can? That's what I'm saying. Like, what is that? Um, it's not a Gorkonaut the... or a Morkonaut. It's not big enough to be a stomper. 
Let's go into the orc line. Uh... Oh, so slow. I'm guessing everyone has logged on to see what's going on in Games Workshop right now. Pre orders galore. Okay. Wow, is this slow? There we go. Humans, uh, orcs. So we're looking to find this thing. Yeah. And I want to see the mega knobs now because they look, I would say they look newish, but they might have just got that new paint job. Mm. These guys look bigger. I feel like these look bigger. Because then they used to come on. They used to come like literally like flying up in the air. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. See, we've obviously got gas. We've got the jump chest. See, look at those mega knobs there. Oh, they do look a bit different. Don't they, they don't look huge. Let's look at that front one. It's got this like flat shoulder head. Left and left and right, switch back to the picture. Uh, I think they are the same. Like flat yeah, shoulder. you might be right. They got yeah. the same kind of, they got quite a stiff pose. Yeah. Um, okay, we're looking for this big yellow can looking thing. So, obviously, not a Gorkonaut. Uh, nothing in there, I've seen. Nothing here. God, Orcs have got a lot of weird models. <laughs> I love the pain boy. I like Snickrot. He's <laughs> cool. There we go. So Storm Boy's there. They're the same. Yeah, they're the same, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Look, you can see the little like um, little twiddly bit coming out here. That's the same little twiddly bit that's up here. Um, okay. Oh, great job on the death cops, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, the do death cops look obscenely good. Oh, yeah. We'll go back in a second to look at that, but blimey. So they're the closest we've seen thus far. Obviously, the new thing is the new picture looks way bigger than that. This thing, is it a death dread? Ah, uh, that could be it. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's a death dread. Okay, so that's available now. That's okay. Cool. But, oh, that's a cracking shot. It is, isn't it? It's actually an awesome shot. So new models here, obviously, you've got the Beast Nagger Boys, the unit on the back, and this is the big mega knob with that flat three damage act, I think, but absolute monster. Jamie, Gaz. Jamie, do you want to know what the new model is? That? I think, just below where your mouse is, that there is a Primaris Lieutenant in Gravis armor? <laughs> no! Don't do it to me. <laughs> don't do it to me. Yeah, he's certainly Lieutenant. Look at that red helmet that we've never yeah. seen before. Oh, the cheeky, cheeky bums, honestly. You sneak in a bloody blue Primaris <laughs> Lieutenant in this image. <laughs> It is, isn't it? I think so. I think so as well. I think it might be. I'll defer to you. You are the Prime Minister King, but I think you I might think well be so. right there. Um, that's a bit disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, in terms of sort of scale comparison, obviously you can use Gazcool as a general rule of thumb because we have that model now. Mm. How does everything look compared to him? Well, the white shark thing is enormous. Yeah, it looks big, doesn't it? Massive. This it's thing obviously is huge. Yeah. And the, the, the bikers, they look like a good outrider size. Yeah. I'd say. Like yeah, I'm, I'm on board with that. Wounds, that sort of scale, those large biker bases. Oh, yeah, I'd like to see T54 wounds. I'd like to see basically the same as Primaris ones. Mm -hmm. The outriders would be quite cool. Uh, Oh, jeez, I need to get myself an orc army. Actually, when you see it like that, it looks amazing. It looks quality, doesn't it? I definitely want yeah, it to does. number those riders. Oh, I hope the rules are good. I hope the rules are good. And then, yeah, so did we get any hint? 
the new crusade dawns. Yeah, one of your famous chapters to the war effort. But what, does that mean they're going to be? Oh, I'd love just a codex. That'd be quality. Keep an eye on the Warhammer community for signs of black armored space marines in the sector. I'd love it because they're like a proper close combat space marine army, which I'm all about. Yeah, you do like your close combat. I'm just building up. What am I building? Twelve more blade guard veterans at the moment. Naughty. <laughs> Naughty, so, uh, naughty. They would very much appreciate a new Black Panther's Codex. <laughs> oh, 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 what a day. Good. It has been a day. What a day. Shall I uh, end the stream there and uh, we can jump back on World of Warcraft? Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, we just cleared the Mega Dungeon for those of you that know what's going on. Just cleared the Mega Dungeon. First run on... video. Do you think anyone has made it? Are you talking to anybody right now? No, nah, we're talking to each other, but you know, that's the fun of it. <laughs> But I do want to. I still want to brag to the ether that I got the new mount and the new new trinket on our first run of. <laughs> That's why we put that out into the world. <laughs> you send good karma, you get good karma. Yeah. Oh, Wait, okay. I will. Um, I'll end the screen there. If anyone did make it this far and you did enjoy this, a bit different, I know than what you usually do. Uh, let me let us know. Stick it in the comments. Let us know what we can improve. If the sound is a bit off, sorry, we're doing this on the fly. Um, we obviously wanted to bring you a video of some sort this week. Um, and yeah, and if you want to see more of us chatting about things, we could do weekly roundups, we can do anything you guys could imagine, more than happy to chat things through. We very much enjoy this hobby, as do you guys. So, um, yeah, get in the comments, let us know what you think. Brilliant. On that note, should we sign out? It's been a pleasure, Mr. Long. See you later. Nice love, my man. See you in a bizzle.